Police have released the CCTV footage of the moments before a Sydney tattoo artist was gunned down in a suspected case of mistaken identity. Daniel Vella was shot dead in front of horrified customers at a West Ride tattoo parlour in March 2011. Police have been unable to find a motive and the gunman has never been caught. It's hoped the CCTV will help identify Mr Vella's killer. A cyclone off the coast of Western Australia is still on course to hit the top end tonight. The Category 1 storm is forecast to make landfall just south of Darwin. Joining me with more is Amanda Deval from Sky News Weather. And Amanda, it's going to be uncomfortable conditions at the very least. Good morning, Suzanne. Well, this particular system will be moving in an easterly direction over the next few hours to come. It's currently tracking at about 19 kilometres per hour. Now, the system is still a Category 1 cyclone, so that's the lowest end of our cyclones. This is the first one we've seen for the season. So, yes, it will be bringing an increase in the winds and the rainfall as well, although we don't mind seeing the rain across the region. Now, as this system continues to move eastward, we're expecting gale force winds to pick up across western parts of the top end from later today and then into Monday morning. At the time, for the time being, we are seeing gale force winds across northern parts of the Kimberley coast. And we currently have a warning area that extends from Mitchell Plateau all the way through to Point Stewart. So that does include Darwin and also the Tiwi Islands. At this stage, the system may cross the western parts of the top end either as a weak Category 1 cyclone or possibly just a tropical low. Regardless, though, it will be bringing strong winds across the region with winds circulating in a clockwise direction around the cyclone. So we are going to be seeing strong winds across Darwin itself and an increase in rain here and that will further add to that moist northwesterly flow that's coming through. For the time being though we are going to be monitoring the cyclone to see whether or not it does make landfall as a tropical low or a cyclone at this stage. Amanda also uh, wild weather in two states overnight. Absolutely. We have seen a string of severe thunderstorms across Queensland and northeast New South Wales. Have a look at these storms as they moved over the Darling Downs. Some places saw over 50 millimetres of rain and we had reports of flash flooding, even small to medium sized hail and damaging winds as well. And those winds certainly increased across northeastern New South Wales yesterday. We saw minor to major damage across a number of properties. And of course, we had a tornado in Gyra, which is just north of Armadale. And the reason we were able to see that is we have such an unstable atmosphere. In the upper atmosphere, we had strong westerly winds. In the lower atmosphere, we had strong northeasterly winds. So that allowed for the rotation of the atmosphere. Certainly today, we're not expecting those kind of storms across a vast area of the northeast. But in the far northeast today, we could be seeing a couple of storms. Our main area for storms today will be across Queensland, though, and particularly from Mackay right down through to Harvey Bay, where the storms will bring heavy rain and that could lead to some further flash flooding. Thanks, Suzanne. Amanda Deval reporting, thank you.